Good morning, y'all. I'm stepping out here to see how it's looking outside this morning. Oh, it is rainy, rainy. Oh. Can't even see nothing it's so dark out here. Little light. The wind's blowing and it's raining this morning, you all. Good morning. Hope everybody's being safe. Good morning, y'all. Just come from outside, just looking at the um, out on my balcony, just seeing how the weather was, feeling the air. It's raining, windy. And I just had this noxema sitting on my face. It's done to dry it up some. Noxema, this is what I try to use in the mornings before work. Sometimes I'll try to use it at night. So, anywho, getting ready for my work day. Getting ready to hop in the shower. Toodles, good morning. Okay, y'all. So, in the mornings, this is what I try to do. I don't do it every morning, but most of the mornings, I try to have me a bottle of water. And I try to let it be room temperature, but I took this out a little bit too late. It's sort of still cool. But I try to let it be room temperature. I'll drink a little bit and I squeeze me some lemon juice. And I'm out of lemons. I got to buy some more. And I just pour. And I'm going to go squeeze the other half of that lemon and pour it in here, shake it up. And I'll drink this uh, this morning. I try to get my water in, but sometimes it don't always work. But anyway, you all, today is September the 30th. It's the last day of September. It's the last day for this month uh, for a what if September. Now, you all, I'm going on over into the next month. Um, and it'll be a what if October. Um, if you all want to get on this journey, me and Tanya, we doing our thing, honey. And and the rest of y'all that want to do, you know, get on a uh, better health, weight loss, whatever you want to title it, journey. I started out on this thing at uh, 281. Uh, I think my weight now, well, according to the doctor's office, cause I hadn't weighed myself since the doctor's office. I only lost two pounds and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I talked to my dad, uh, the other day and he was, uh, he watches my videos and he was saying, are you over your disappointment yet? And he was talking about my disappointment when I said I wanted to cry at the doctor's office. And I told him, yeah. So, you know, he was, he just encouraged me and he told me, you know, you didn't get all the weight on, you know, overnight and it's going, and it's not going to be overnight for it to be over with. And that's true. Honey, I've been living like this for what, 51 years. So, you know, it's going to, it's going to take time and we have to pace ourselves. I'm talking to all of us that's trying to have better health and just, you know, make better choices. We're not going to get down about what the scale says or anything like that. Don't get discouraged because I'm telling it's very discouraging because I wanted to cry, but don't. So it'll be a fresh month, October. If you all want to jump on this thing, it's a what if, it'll be a what if October and let's just do it and go from there. Okay. So I try to do this um, um, lemon water drink as much as possible every morning. And you all, I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to try to come on every day for October and share my meals and when I'm walking and things. Because a lot of you all have let me know my videos are encouraging you. So I guess the days I don't upload, maybe, you know, somebody might need encouragement. So I want to encourage everybody. And Tanya, you know, she sent me over some videos and let me see how she was juicing and the things that she was doing. And that really encouraged me. And Tanya, I thank you for that. Um, those videos that you sent me over to see what you're doing. So we just have to encourage each other. You all, it's been a great month. A uh, very exciting month. This is like this month really has been a jump start. It's had has been a a jump start month for all of us that's trying to do better. Okay, so this morning this is what I'm having. I'm having uh, my lemon water, and Lord knows I'm gonna try to get my water in as much as possible. All right. So love y'all. Be blessed. Toodles. All right, y'all, so I'm on my way to work, getting ready to grab what I grab. So this is my bag. I take the work. Yes, it's got my book in it, honey, because you don't know who you're going to meet on a day-to-day -day basis, honey. I want to be able to say, baby, I got a book. Yes, honey, it's for the singles. I got a Bible in here. You know, I might share this with y'all, because this is very, very neat. I'll share this um, 
uh, maybe when I get home. But I keep my little Bible in here, my headphones. When I go on my break a lot and in my lunch, I like to listen to my um phone, gum, um, a mask, hand sanitizer, you know, different stuff that you need. So that's my little bag for work, my water. Y'all look what I got, me an umbrella. Anybody want to sign up for the, um, uh, what did I call it? I'm a bearer crew for my umbrella. Just put it in the comment section and I will make, and go over your application if you want to be an umbrella. I'm a bear to uh, help me keep up with my umbrella. <laughs> All right, there's my keys out the door. I am getting ready to go. <sighs> I didn't eat no kind of breakfast this morning because I'm telling you, I'm about to be running late, y'all. So grab my things. And we are on our way. Y'all, this rain, it rain sounds so good. Oh, sounds so good. All right. Woo. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to put my camera because I got to go down these steps and my phone. See you in the car. All right, y'all, I forgot to show y'all my rain boots. These are my rain boots. Aren't they cute, cute, cute? Cute, cute with my little blue jean dress on. My friend gave me these boots. She said, here, honey, you can have these. They hurt my toe. Fit me perfectly. Cute, cute. I'm ready for this weather. All right, y'all. I made it to the car. It is raining, 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 honey. Ooh. All right, y'all, let me get going. Y'all be safe and be careful out here. I think uh, I think here the schools have closed down here, but um, I don't know about everywhere, but um, y'all be safe. And I tell y'all, there ain't nobody on the road. There ain't nobody hardly on the road, honey. But um, another thing I wanted to say to, uh, oh, let me turn this music down. Another thing I wanted to say to you ladies, um, that's um you know single and if you're not single sometimes you can have a husband that don't take care of what he need to take care of you know but anywho make sure that your tires uh my dad always told me that if you can't buy four tires always make sure that you got two good back tires on your car because most of the time the back the back tires i guess they're the ones that pull or whatever but make sure that your two tires on the back of your car are in good condition. You know, I know some, you know, we're living in rough times now. If my, everybody can't go out and buy a full set of tires. But if you can just get two, just get two tires for it. Make sure you got two good tires on the back of your car. That way you won't be sliding, you know, especially in this rain. Your car won't be sliding and you run over in a ditch somewhere, you know. Just always make sure you got two good back tires on your car, all right? All right. Woo. You all be safe. Have a great day. And the roads are really empty this morning. Oh, baby, we praying for those folks over in uh, Florida. I, I, honey, I've been there. I know. I've been there, so I know what they're going through. y'all I'm on my lunch break I'm eating me a peanut butter and a peanut butter sandwich no jelly just peanut butter and I'm telling y'all this wind is blowing honey this wind ain't playing no games I got my umbrella honey this wind, baby, done blow my umbrella up. I can't even use it. Y'all won't let me go? Okay. I can't even use my umbrella. Hmm. What 
in the world? That wind said, woo You can hear the wind making noise, huh? But anyway, y'all ever had to work with strange people? I mean, just strange. Just they just do strange stuff. I'm like, Lord, just help me. It's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde situation, honey. I don't know what be going on. And sometimes I be going to ask him, can you write down uh, Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, whatever, but each day of the week, tell me who you going to be, honey, so I can be prepared. Golly, people just so strange acting. I mean, strange acting. You think you're talking to Sally at 7 o'clock in the morning? By lunchtime, honey, Deborah done showed up. And I'm not trying to be funny either. I'm serious, y'all. Strange. People just strange. You don't know what to say to them. And then if they're supposed to tell you something that's jar related, they won't tell you what's job related. They'll just come up and stare at you. Like osmosis going to take place or something. Because we beside each other. So my brain is going to send a, a, a message to your brain. No. Girl, just strange acting folk, honey. Mm, mm, mm. I guess I'm ranting, honey. I, I just, God. And then if you don't say nothing, cause they acting strange and weird. What what what's wrong? You weird. The day is Friday, baby. You weird on Friday, so I don't know what to do. Weird acting folk, honey. Most of them be Christians. I don't know why so many Christians sometimes, honey, just get thrown off. They just go to the left sometimes. Weird and strange acting, honey. Jesus. Anywho, y'all. Let me try to get back in the building, honey, before this wind blow me and my little Betsy away, honey. But yeah, I just wanted to um take a break and eat my peanut butter sandwich, honey. And get from around some of these weird acting folk. Anywho, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Y'all see this tree, baby? It's about to blow away. <laughs> I mean, that tree is leaning, honey. Y'all, I had to buy some more paper towel. And when I tell you, they are already price gouging because of the storm, honey. A six-pack of paper towels, and this is the Great Value brand. A six-pack of Great Value brand paper towels, y'all. It was nine dollars and I think eighty-seven cent the other day. Today, that same pack of tissue paper towels is thirteen dollars and seventy-six cent. Honey, when I got to that register. And I uh, said, uh, wait a minute now, $13 and about 78 cents, I think it was, for six rolls of paper towel. I said, you know what, honey, I'm about to start wiping my hands and my shirt, because I can't do this. I ain't going to be able to live like this. That is terrible. And you know them little dollar store paper towels, they don't last long, honey. You got to use about 10 of them to get you a good sheet to pick up anything. But, baby, I'm about to start wiping my hands and my shirt the bottom of my shirt and be done with it. Whoo! Price gouging. Because mm, 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 you know people going to get it. Anyway, I'm sitting here under this little tree, honey. I might better move, child, because it is blowing. 
Lord, I hope y'all can see me because I got y'all way up in the ceiling, baby. My, my thing is about to break. Oh, so I am sitting out here in my car. I'm trying to hold on to this thing, y'all. It's about to break. So I'm sorry I got y'all up in the ceiling, but I think you can see me. Now, can I say something? Can I say something, Lord? Sure, daughter, say it. Okay, y'all. Let me say this here. The Bible has been written for all people. The Bible is God's instructions for man. God allowed men to write the Bible uh, that were inspired by him. The Bible is not a book that we look at and say, okay, I can get with that. I can get with that. But I can't get with that. And I can't get with that. No. The Bible was written for all of us. Girl, my car moving. This wind blowing so hard, my car just moved. Um, For instruction for all of us. It's not God's word is does not come to us so we can decide what fits us. You know, that, that scripture that says every man work out his own soul salvation. That don't mean I go in the scripture and fit and picks out what fits me, what's comfortable, comfortable for me. But I believe a lot of us, that's what we're doing. If, if, if this here say, say like, OK homosexuals okay homosexuals um they don't see anything wrong with saying gender loving they are not convicted by it they don't see nothing wrong with it that's their life that's how they want to live god give every man a free will to do what he wants to do uh people that have affairs you know People, they feel like, hey, if I ain't bothering nobody, I'm not bringing no disease home, you know, I'm fine with it, you know, my wife fine with it, you know, everybody fine, even with liars, you know, hey, if nobody, I could tell a little lie as long as nobody don't get hurt behind it, it's fine with me, I ain't hurt nobody, so it works. So, this is what I want us to understand, God word is is true and god word is for everybody it's not a word for you to decide how it fits you like a shirt well i'm a large and that shirt is is a um a, um small so that don't fit me so i ain't gonna let it work for me so what i'm trying to get us to understand the word of god is for everybody <laughs> it, I can't lie. I don't care if it hurts. If, if I say it hurts somebody, it don't. I can't uh, be with the same gender because this is God's order of life. It's like we picking and choosing what fits us. Well, honey, if it don't bother you, just go ahead and do it. If it works for you, just go ahead and no. know. God has gave us instruction. God has told us how to live. And you know what he said? He said, I am God and I am holy. Therefore, guess what? You got to be holy too. What is holiness? It's not a long dress. It's not a face without makeup. You know, that's not what holiness is. Holiness is being in right standard with God according to the scripture. Not how it makes me feel. You know, it's like we pick it into a honey. It don't bother me. So whatever fits me, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I ain't got no issue with it. You know, and a lot of times we make our gods. We got little girl, this wind is doing something, baby. We have we have set up idols in our hearts. We have made idols out of things and our idols don't bother us. So when the children of Israel set up idols before God, them idols didn't bother them, but they, they bothered God. God said, you shall worship no other God but me. You cannot set up other idols before me. Just because the idol don't bother you, baby, it don't mean that you're not offending God. 
Some folk don't feel like there ain't nothing wrong. And I'ma say it, honey. Ain't no Christian got no business at no Beyonce concert. Ain't no Christian got no business at no Mary J. Blige concert, baby. None at all. But because that is your God, Beyonce, your idol, she your God. You don't see nothing wrong with turning it up every now and then. You go ahead and enjoy it. But God said not so. And this ain't trying to throw off or trying to, you know, uh, put my, uh, uh, um, uh, how did, I can't even think of the word that they use. Deflect on somebody else. No, this is the scripture. This is the word of God. God said, be ye holy for I am holy. You need to find out what the holiness of God is. We really do. We have made idols and gods in our hearts, honey. And because we are comfortable with our idols, we love our idols. They don't hurt us. They don't hurt nobody. But guess what? Your idols are offending God. They are offending God. And we don't think that they ain't offending God because they don't offend us. I'm going to tell you, read your Bible, honey. Y'all better, we better get in the habit of reading our Bibles. I'm trying to tell you, honey. Because there's a lot of stuff going on out here now. If it don't offend me, I'm working out my own salvation. It ain't bothering me. I'm fine with it. Don't throw off what you're doing. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I'm telling you what the scripture said. And then somebody's going to say, well, that's how you interpret it. I interpret it. No, baby. Holiness ain't going to be interpreted but one way. The thing is, you don't want to come out the club. You don't want to stop listening to what you're listening to. You, you want to continue on, and you can, because God give us free will to do whatever we want to. But it's not the, it, it's not the uh, will of God for us to participate in a lot of things. I'm telling you, read your Bibles, honey. Read your Bibles. And I'm telling you, when you do walk in holiness, like I said, it ain't about a long dress. It ain't about a face without makeup. But guess what? Sometimes when you, when you get closer to God, he'll make you put on a long one. He'll make you stop showing everything. That's, that's why holiness will work out in you. It'll work out the righteousness of God in you. All right? So anyway, I don't want to say that, honey. I, I, I get sick of hearing a lot of, a lot of stuff, honey. That people don't even read their Bibles and they want, because they don't set up gods and idols in their heart and they want to hold on to their things. They don't want to call it sin because it's comfortable to them, but it's sin. That's all it is. And we don't like to throw away. We, we love our sin, honey. We love it. But God said, be ye holy for I am holy. Sometimes there are things that we love. God said, you got to let that go. But God, I don't see nothing wrong with what God said I do. You should have no other God before me. So we got to come into, come into the fullness of God and the righteousness of God, not what we think, we feel, how we doing. All right. Anybody understand what I'm saying? If you're going to be a Christian, be one. Be one. Simple as that. Now, there's some things because I am a Christian, I'm just not going to participate in. Now, if you people can do whatever they want to do. And a lot of times folks say, well, I'm not convicted in that. You know why you're not convicted in some things? Because you have, have closed your ears to hear God. That's why. A lot of times you, you might not be convicted of something because you've closed your ears to it. Homosexuals ain't convicted of sleeping with the same person. Liars not convicted with lying because they have rejected the truth of God. God, in the Bible, what it say? I think it's in Romans. He said, I will turn them over to reprobate because you have rejected the truth for so long. I will make you believe a lie to be the truth. Same thing in, in 2 Timothy, talking about people with itching ears. They don't want to hear the truth and because they've reject, rejected the truth of God. That's why you ain't convicted by nothing, honey, because you didn't reject the truth so long. So God said, go and believe the lie. Go on and sleep in the lie. Go on and get wrapped up in the lie since you're not going to listen to me. But baby, when you get sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, Lord, what is it that please you? Some things that I didn't see nothing wrong with in my life, baby, because it did not please God. When I saw it in the scripture, baby, I had to let it go. But anyway, 
This road now, I'm telling you, this is a this 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 is, is some kind of road we on. It is. You either love God or you don't, baby. All right, I'm finna go, but I just wanted to say that right there. And I'm going for real this time. Y'all be safe, because this wind is getting up out here, all right? All right, love you. Toodles.